Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing Malfurion's quest. Now we can actually play the game. We're heading into Chapter 1, A Destiny Unravels. The Oracle's Prophecy was interesting. I suspect that us losing at the end of that was all part of the dream. But it was a, a lovely cinematic. I suspect this campaign was referred to me because a lot of people said there's a real cool fight scene in the prologue. But let us go forward and see what there really is to offer here. I'm sure it's going to be great. A destiny unravels. After spending 10,000 years in the Emerald Dream, Malfurion awakens from his terrible nightmare. Putting the doubts in his mind aside, he ventures out of his barrow den and into the wilderness. Alrighty. I've, I've thought about this. Turnrose campaigns on hard are beyond me. I'm just going to say that up front. Uh, so we will be playing this campaign on normal. I understand that there are legendary items you can only get playing on hard, uh, but we are going to be playing on normal. I encourage you to go to Hive Workshop, download this for yourself. You can play on hard. Let me know how it is. What is the meaning of this? The horn has not been sounded. Still, my dream. I felt as if the land had suffered around me. Could it be? I must reach the mountain pass and attempt to commune with the spirits of the land. So, my only suspicion is that it's not that we were sent back in time again, it's that we dreamt that as a prophecy of what's going to happen if we can't do something. Gather more allies, get more powerful, I don't know. Reach the mountain pass, Malfurion must survive. The time of the Oracle's prophecy is near. You must travel to the mountain pass to commune with the spirits of the forest. Only with their aid can you discover what the Legion is up to. Look at all this stuff in Mission 1. Let's go! A destiny unravels. So we're level one. What can we do? A blast of energy is sent out where its healing friendly units hit, <coughs> excuse me, by 90 hit points, dealing 65 damage to units in a line. Now, Fearin carries a pouch, which allows him to hold on to additional items for later use. I don't see a pouch. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Well, that's nice. Up to two items. They cannot be used. The pouch is always with Malfurion. Items can be dropped, but only near Malfurion. Cannot be used after he's been killed, which I guess makes sense, right? It shall be done. Hey, I'm dead. I gotta use something from the pouch. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, micro mission. We might want to min max a little bit here to ensure that we're getting it some good items. Done. Even on normal, I find Turnrose campaigns to be quite challenging. Uh, again, if anyone's played this on hard, let me know how it is compared to. Like, Jeopardy of the Horde, for example, on hard was like. Extremely challenging. Damn. Roan the Wise also, but I think he may have toned it down. And it requires a lot of time and a lot of practice. So I'm happy to just go ahead and showcase this, and hopefully that encourages a lot of you to maybe go pick it up for yourself if you're looking for more of a challenge. You can play it on hard. Uh, the only difference here is that I won't be getting the legendary items, which will just beef our heroes up, but I don't think make it easy enough or, or reduce the difficulty. It doesn't compensate, I should say, uh, to a level where I would feel comfortable playing on, on hard. Indeed, I am just a lowly content showcaser, so I hope that uh, you enjoy that. And again, you don't want to watch someone perfect play these campaigns. I don't know, maybe you do. But maybe some of you just enjoy watching someone like me play these. Who isn't perfect? Uh, you know what, if that's how, if that's the audience that I draw, then I'll take what I can get. Blast them? Kill them? Oh, that's... Okay, so it's basically Shockwave, but if you have allies in front of him, then it'll it'll heal them as well. That's quite nice. Okay, give me something good in here. Maybe nothing. I don't know. Now, if I remember, and I try... Ruby of Health. 50 extra HP. Now, I try to keep this cataloged in the back of my mind. Which map makers hide stuff in neutral huts, and which don't? I vaguely recall that Turnrow did not hide things inside neutral huts, but for this first mission, perhaps we'll play it safe and destroy all the neutral huts so that we can confirm or deny that suspicion. Because who knows, maybe he didn't used to hide stuff in neutral huts. And now he does. I don't know. I haven't found anything in the neutral murloc huts. Murlocs, I guess, not really big hoarders these days. But I am interested to see where exactly we got dumped out of the Barrow Den. It just said 10,000 years later. Uh, I think... 
There was a pit lord that tried to invade with the Legion and were pushed back by the orcs. How dare you! Vile creatures, you're kind of no place on these sacred grounds. And the orcs pushed them back, but there were a lot of weird machinations going on with the Legion, whereas where Kill Jaden was not the leader of the Legion in the Nether, but he like baited the Legion to attack, knowing that they would be defeated, and now he leads the Legion, I think is what was going on. There were a bunch of lieutenants. It shall be done. I don't quite remember which pit lord it was, but I remember that mission being very challenging in the Orc campaign, and that was on normal difficulty, which sort of uh, is driving my my current idea of maybe not playing on on hard. Well, that's nice. I guess in that case, we don't need to heal. Well, we can't heal. I mean, well, I could use my, my pot, but... Uh, I really don't know how much harder the the micro missions would be on hard versus normal because like I could play the micro missions on hard difficulty just in order to get uh, just in order to get the legendary items and then we take them into the normal macro missions. That could be a thing that we could do. I don't know. Seems seems fine either way. Uh, I guess we'll take this just because it's better to keep the pot of healing that we can use in combat at another time. Nothing in the in the hut so far. But I gotta say, I've heard, <coughs> excuse me, really good things about this campaign, so I'm, I'm expecting good things. Manual of Health is great. Really good early find there, so we gotta be checking all these little fogged pathways. So we gotta get some good stuff. Hello, my friends. Nice. Shendo Stormrage, you have returned. Yes, destroy your homes. Oh, they're invulnerable. Come, most noble furbolgs. The archdruid of the Moonglade has need of your services. I can't make them destroy their own homes. That's, that's unfortunate. I will leave formations on for now. I don't know, on micro missions, not as necessary. But uh, especially with uh, night elves, probably a good idea to just leave formations. Yeah, you know what? How about we all attack different ones? That's a great, it's a great plan. Because they have those really fragile archers as a as a core unit, and we want to keep them in the back. And it requires less micro leaving formations on because they'll kind of reorganize themselves as you attack into bases and such. So that sounds like a good a good thing. Back up here, friend. I didn't know we were going to get allies. This makes things uh, a little bit easier for now. And we can heal them, keep in mind. So like, we can do this. That is a very nice ability. So we got like an AoE heal, but it functions as, as damage dealing as well. But it's in a very particular area, which is very interesting. Uh, here, why don't we just do this and then pick this up? Kill all the Murloc huts. It must be done. All right. Can we walk on the water like we could in Ogre's Quest? <laughs> Inexplicably. All right. It's weird to be playing something newer now. After playing Ogre's Quest, which was not, well, not Ogre's, all of the Joe's Chronicle stuff, which was all just so old that I just wasn't sure when it was just, it would just break. It would just outright break. All right, look out, friend. Ironwood Branch, plus one strength, baby, let's go! We're coming online. Shando Stormridge coming in hot with plus one strength, that's all he needed. Oh, big fight between the Dragonflight and the Sentinels and the Druids. Scenarius. Kill Jaden comes in. Tyrande falls. Malfurion whips out the Ironwood branch. You got nothing on this. Kill Jaden. Kill Jaden instantly dies. Now, now please attack this man. You back out, friend. Go ahead and, and focus fire a little bit. Why don't you just back out? There you go. Nice. Perfect time for a healing rune. Pick this up. Destroy the huts. It's clear nothing's going to be in these huts, but I'm doing it uh, just because I, I don't want these trolls. If the trolls send reinforcements, there can't be any any homes for them to, to recover. This is a slash and burn campaign. Salt the fields. Communing with nature. My favorite recreational pastime. Strange. The land doesn't appear to have suffered at all. Perhaps the demons have made their mark elsewhere in the world. Spirits of the forest, I implore you. Show me what is hidden from my sight. Show me where the demons have affected the land.
Why? It is the desolate lands of the Barrens. One of its inhabitants' home have been destroyed, though it looks as if the attack was some time ago. This cannot be. Lordaeron? The land itself has been completely obliterated. If the Legion has already caused us destruction, then this worries me greatly. Still, there doesn't seem to be any sign of the demons. I don't understand. There must be more to what I have seen. Ancient spirits, search the land once more. Show me if the demons have come to Ashenvale. A great battle took place here, though not with the Legion. Who else would have such desire to rage war with my people? Wage war with my people. Well, also rage, they're real mad. Probably orcs. Now I see... A fountain. Its waters are full of dark energies, yet the land doesn't appear to be corrupted. What could the demons be planning? What purpose does this fountain serve if not to corrupt? My awakening seems to be the result of these horrific events. It's as if the spirits have begged for my return to save this world before all is lost. Thank you, great spirits. The situation is dire than is more dire than I thought. I must inform my people at once. All right. Reach the first and second village, Malfurion must survive. Sure thing. Can we get through here? Again, we gotta check all these little areas. Any items that we can get now. Plus, we got our pouch! Don't forget the pouch. Nice. And then there's a healing fountain. This music is familiar. It's because it's from... It's the same music that was during Road of Destiny, which... I don't want to say I have bad memories from that campaign, but wow. Just that campaign in general. That was really something. <laughs> If you haven't seen that, go watch it at like five times speed and you can experience um, truly something special. I mean, it was great, but also uh, I don't even know how to describe it, man. It was it was something all right. It was it was fantastic, but it deeply flawed at the same time. I like the music, though. There's something it's just very dreamlike when you combine the music with the overall atmosphere of Ashenvale Forest and... Uh, and just playing as the Night Elves in general. I think it's it's really underused by a lot of folks. There aren't too many no Night Elf senses. campaigns that I can think of. I don't. don't put me to sleep, you I'll son of a bitch. Alright, I'll just focus. This is fine. We'll just focus this guy down. Go right through the heels. Stop putting him to sleep. It's fine. Well, you know, I'm not even going to use mana here because there's a health fountain right behind us. So I don't see much of a reason to heal these guys. Okay. Level 1. I didn't even check my other spells. Okay, so the Treants... Eventually can learn Nature's Blessing. I don't even know what Nature's Blessing is. I mean, I probably know, but I don't. it's not coming to me right now. Um, versus... Oh, 35% mischance. That's really good. I think for now, we just want some additional units, but just this... this Nature's Wrath is a really, really good sounding spell. For sure. For Kalimdor. Okay, let's go. I've got a clarity potion and a mana potion, so I should just start casting these to my heart's content for now. I, could, I mean, I could get them out in advance. There you go. Right, focus fire, focus fire. Lightning lizards. Yes, exactly. We want them hitting the treants. This is perfect. Not our poor, poor, poor furbolgs that are still alive. I don't envy map makers trying to make micro missions. You know, you got to consider, like, what if the player had already lost the Furbolgs in the first section somehow? Because if that happened, the player needs tools to be able to get through these later sections. Or they're just maybe given two new Furbolgs. I don't know. Heal them up! Nice. Get the, get the little ones first. Okay, move on up. Keep healing the Furbolgs. We can always backtrack if we need. And heal up at the at the fountain, and I may very well do that. Okay. We're in a clarity potion. We're gonna Oh, well. I guess we'll do this. We still have the clarity pot going, so let's just continue and look for more enemies. 
for Kalimdor. Just keep using that Q to get more more units out. Level nine Stormworm. We could always backtrack for this, or we do this. Get him in there. I mean, I just saved, so get the get the treants in there first, please. There you go. That's fine if he's hitting Malfurion. Did he eat my? He did. That's fine. We got a, we still got the mana pot as well, so I I shouldn't hesitate to use spells. We should kill this, and I don't have to necessarily use another spell. It just depends on what else he chooses to do, and I can always backtrack and use uh, the the healing fountain. Rune of Greater Healing is nice. Runes are perfect so that the player isn't just sitting around doing nothing. Mana, mana stone is excellent for now. Wait, can we get through here? Some may say that that runes make things a little too easy in these micro maps, but it's, I mean, if you succeed through a challenging fight, I could, you could either force the player to backtrack and sit at the Fountain of Healing, which is essentially a waste of two to three minutes, or you give them a rune. So that's why I completely agree with using runes a lot in these micro missions. I think it makes a lot more sense. How dare you? Focus fire, focus fire. How dare you? I'm excited, that's gonna be, I can already say that's probably going to be the new meme for this series. It is destined was was good while it lasted, but I'm I'm really like and and it, let's see let's see if we can find any clues. That was a good one also. Those will never die in my eyes, but I think this one I can already tell. How dare you? Good sir. My senses. For Kalimdor. For Kalimdor. Anudora. Uh, okay, lots of trolls. Let's see what's the other direction. I do like, uh, it looks like a dead end. I do I like my dead ends, that means there's probably some treasure. Uh, go for the, the high priest first. Please don't, please, please yeah. Malfurion, he's not, the, he's not the guy you want to hit. I mean, he is, I understand why, but I'm just saying, stop, stop attacking him, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve it. We're spreading damage out, that's the Jabberino way, and that's why I'm playing on normal. Alright, Dark Troll Berserker. Perfect time for some mana, thank you. Probably should have thrown down a heal to top this guy off. Alright, what you got for me? How dare you? How dare you? Something is amiss. Scroller protection. I gotta say, I'm already feeling a little weird about this one because anytime someone's like, hey, this has gotta be the new meme, it's gonna flop. You can't they 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 have to evolve on their own. You can't just repeat something that you think is funny enough times and then suddenly becomes funny to other people. That's a bad idea. It's gotta be, it's gotta be legit. Uh, do I need more treants? No, I think we're okay. I thought, did I, not, I thought I woke that guy up. It's fine, he's back, he's back awake now. Kill him before he puts someone else to sleep. Man, they really want Malfurion. Get out of here. Yeah, kill the little guy. Now we'll go for the warlord. Blast him, kill him. Kablam. Oh, he healed the stag, even though it didn't take any damage. Very pleased. Why don't you pop your healing pot, buddy? Once more. Nice. Rune of healing. Perfect. Perfect timing. Tome of intelligence. Oh, token of intelligence. Increases the intelligence of a hero by two. Weird. That's a custom item. Typically, the, the individual stat items go... They either give you one or three. But instead, now we got a token of intelligence, and we got the Ironwood Branch. Don't fuck around with that Ironwood Branch, man. That's some serious shit. I'm telling you, put me back in that situation with Kill Jaden. He'll get smoked. Nothing in there. Was there another direction? I don't think so. Wait, we missed some crates. Go get them. It's gonna be nothing. I'm calling. It's it's gotta be. If I'm so confident that it's nothing, you'd think I wouldn't go check. And yet, it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> Back to the front. That's all right. He's regening some mana. We've also got this nice pot of mana, so let's not hesitate to get some more uh, treants out. 100 for that, 90 for life surge, so we can cast both spells in the next uh, next engagement. Here's a question. It shall be done. If I go to pick this up, will it automatically? No, it will not. So if I select the backpack, there we go, as long as we're standing by it. It's also a lesser clarity potion, and it's sort of like, who who cares? So we want to do, we want to drop the items, do this, do this, do this, 
pick it up. And as long as Malfurion isn't hit, and we've got the Furbolgs to kind of save us from getting hit, then that should keep ticking away on him. Though we have made it to our first village. I see some Murlocs up there. Malfurion, we're glad you're awake. Go kill these Murlocs. Almost definitely. Shadow Stormrage, praise the loon. You have awakened at last. Ishnu Allah, fellow sentinels. These are dire times, for the fulfillment of the prophecy is upon us. What is the situation at Nighthaven? We've recently lost contact with the village, Shando. Rumor has it that the town has been besieged by a new menace. My sisters and I were unable to aid them due to the murlocs in the nearby eastern lake. They have recently become mutated and hostile towards us. What is more, the northern bridge to Nighthaven is deactivated. With no passage to the village, we cannot reach our sisters. Then we must reactivate the bridge. My powers over nature have waned since the Emerald Dream, so we must go first to the Moonglade Isle and recover the Horn of Cenarius. We must proceed immediately, Sentinels. I fear we may reach Nighthaven too late. Okay, it does not appear timed. Recover the Horn of Cenarius, use the Horn to cross the river. We have some... Investigate the Eastern Lake. Okay, we got some ladies now. A versatile melee warrior suitable for frontline assaults. They possess Elune's Blessing, which allows them to restore their lost hit points. That is nice. Huh, okay. Interesting. So let's... Hotkey these. We can't use the moon wells to heal. Of course we're going to do the optional quest. Are you crazy? Quick save. This seems like a long map. All right, get in there. Give me some give me some trees. And we've got a pretty good AoE heal as well. So we can just... Oh, uh, we lost our, our clarity potion. This is going to give us some good XP. Uh, these all are going to disease cloud us. Yuck. Are our sentinels any different? No, they're the same. Okay, get in there. Lead with the tree ants. These murlocs are unlike anything I've ever seen. We must put a stop to this mutation. Blast them. Heal them. Mmm. Gotta get that to level two. Heals are so nice. That's why I'm getting those leveled up quickly. Now, typically, more trees deactivates it. Oh, no, so we can stack the trees up. All right, this is very important. Being able to have many trees is really nice. Heal this guy. Probably going to be prioritizing heals, if anything. Yeah, see, these are just my tree ants that are dying. That's fine there. So I can, I can just spam Force of Nature. That's really, really good. And then our frontline ladies can heal themselves. How you doing on uh, XP, Malfurion? Rune of Healing is great. Destroy the huts! Purge the mutation. Oh, that's nice, I guess. I need some extra extra XP. It's like a, a built-in... A built-in Ironwood branch. And, like, what's better than the Ironwood branch? Uh, nothing? <laughs> is the answer to that question? By the way... I'll hear none of it from from the likes of you all. Quick save here. That looks like something something's going on here. Get up here with the tree ants. Give me some more tree ants. Oh no, it did. It, oh, either they despawn. I thought it would stack up, but it did not appear to stack up. Yeah, just let the tree ants get hit. That's fine. I don't see anybody needing a heal. I mean, this fur bulk maybe. Kablam! Back him out. Wow, these ladies are pretty, uh, pretty solid. Got a lot of armor, and they can heal themselves, too. I sense an unusual magic emitting from this shrine. There is no doubt destroying it will put an end to the Murloc's mutation. What is happening?
That murloc is enormous. It also appears to be unhappy with the loss of its shrine. How dare you! Prepare to fight, warriors. Quick save. Okay. Let him hit the... Let him hit the sentries? Nice. Summoning another murlocs. Just, just focus fire the big guy. First. Okay, focus fire here, and then we can just... These, these ladies have to be at half HP for that for their heal to be worthwhile, so like here. Plus one inventory slot for Malfurion's pouch. That's that's actually pretty cool. Greater resurrection. We didn't lose anybody. Ring of superiority is plus one everything. Fine. How dare you? How dare you? And a little lesser speed there, which is nice because it gets us out of this area a little bit faster. I like optional quests that act that have like actual rewards and not just like, hey, do it to do it. <laughs> hey, go kill these murlocs, but fuck you. There's no actual reward for it. So I'm I'm actually quite grateful. Again, doesn't seem like there's anything in these huts. I think we I think we have come to the conclusion there's definitely nothing in these huts. The unfortunate thing is we are all disease clouded. How dare you? I mean, I could just, I could kill all my units and then use the Rune of Greater Resurrection, which probably would resurrect six or maybe ten of them. Uh, so we kill, you know, like this this guy, just kill him and then and then bring him back. He won't have Disease Cloud anymore. Actually, he doesn't have Disease Cloud anymore. All right. First side quest accomplished. Good work, Pouch. You got leveled up. I like, oh, there uh, the Moonwells do work on us as well. Very nice little attention to detail here for a little quality of life things. I really appreciate that. I like these uh, these sentries, man. They're great. They're I mean, they're better than the furbolgs. They have more armor. Fantastic. All right, so we gotta go get the horn. Looks so like we gotta make a little zigzag down and around. More lightning lizards, only level two, go get them. Go down a heal here. These poor furbolgs, man. They're getting put through hell. We'll try to keep them alive. Rune of Lesser Healing is perfect for this situation. Again, really nice layout of the runes. Again, little details like that I think people can easily overlook. But just imagine doing that fight and not getting a rune. Makes a big difference in, in how the map flows, especially in micro maps like this. And you can do some pretty creative stuff with micro maps in Warcraft 3. And I'm sure on hard mode, there's just higher level creeps and stuff like that that make this uh, pretty challenging. Sorry, Timberwolf. Anything? Nothing? This Doesn't it kind of look like we could sneak through here? Nah. Okay. Onwards. Quick save. I do quick save a lot on micro missions. Oh, it's a trap! It's a trap! Look out, buddy. That's fine. Uh, the fact that these ladies can self-heal is extremely strong. See, we just do that, and then we back her out, let them hit a different one. And then we'll self-heal that one. Nice, we got a level. Gotta level up Nature's Wrath. 60 mana, that's nice. Alright, heal yourself. Heal yourself, and they'll get mana back in time. I like that ability. It's a simple self-use. You don't have to cast it on something. It's just a basic, like, boom, you're healed. So when we actually use these in macro missions, it, it doesn't feel confusing or overwhelming. You just keep an eye on your individual sentries and pop it individually on each one. That's quite neat. I like that. Satyrs? I should have known. I should have known. Boom. Cursed Night Elves, our master's arrival draws near. You shall all perish before the might of the Legion. Ah, sk yeah, skeletons! Foul wretches, it pains me to think of how your, you sinister beasts could have ever called yourselves Night Elves. Do this. Do this. I wasn't told there'd be skeletons in this campaign. I thought this was a Night Elf campaign. I'm deeply offended. All right, I don't like the look of this guy. I don't know what he can do. Oh, he's just, he's just, he's just purging us. That's fine. Oh no, we're slightly slowed. It's not like we had any buffs anyway. We get some, some regen, that's nice. 
It looks as if the satyrs attempted to defile this fountain. It is fortunate we showed up in time to stop them. You know, I remember now what happened in Lordaeron. It's not that the Legion was summoned in Lordaeron, it's that the three Dreadlords sacrificed Araj, and they, they cast that Apocalypse spell. The land seems unaffected by the well's foul magic, Shando. What could the satyrs be planning? I don't know. Nonetheless, we better stay vigilant. The land so yeah, they cast this the giant Apocalypse spell, and it just destroyed everything. But I don't think there's necessarily demons over there anymore. The demons are were here. But the orcs pushed them back, but I think that the Legion will be returning pretty soon. Uh, give me some trees. Doesn't hurt to have those trees. What are we going to level up next? That's the real question. We got three pretty good spells. Yeah, get them, trees. Please do some good damage. Nice work. Okay, big boys down. Nice. We have the intelligence equivalent of the Ironwood branch. We're unstoppable. Nice. Again, it's nice. You gotta be thorough on these micro missions. We've gotten a lot of good stuff. We're getting close to getting the horn, and we gotta get to the second village, right? And then there's gonna be another quest. I'm actually very glad that I put the that I separated out the. Uh, the land and I are one. The intro cinematic, because that would have made this single video way too long, in my opinion. My yeah, yeah, hit her. She can she can use Elune's blessing. Uh, go ahead, give me some more trees. Ah, we only got one tree. We gotta maximize our trees. How many trees can we get eventually? We need to hit five trees with that cast for it to be worth it. That's so many trees. I know I'm quick saving a lot, but I really don't want to have to replay this whole thing if something goes awry. I'm trying to minimize the amount of replay time. Okay. Slay the lost orcs, recover the horn of Cenarius, use the horn to cross the river. Ambush, defend yourselves. Okay, get up here. Give me some trees. Insolent creatures, how dare you show no respect for our, our consecrated lands? Do this. Mm, they're not using uh, bloodlust, so we're fine. They were just lost. They were listed as lost. Why would the Horn's ancient guardians allow such beasts to enter our sacred isle? And where are they? Did we kill those in the orc campaign? I, I just don't remember. It was so long ago that I played those. You don't understand. It was a really long time ago. All right, I guess let's just pick up the horn. Do I need inventory space? Nope. With the horn in my possession, my druidic powers will be restored. The horn of Cenarius may do little against the might of the Burning Legion. But the horn has been used for many centuries. One horn cannot save this world from destruction, Furion. The spirits themselves cannot withstand the power of the demons. <sighs> Is everything all right, Shando Stormrage? I, the effects of waking from the Emerald Dream have caused me to experience some unusual pain, warrior. Oh, you know, just grappling with self-doubt. Do not fear, though. I'm sure these effects will fade in time. Something is amiss. Something is amiss. Token of intelligence. Another one. Um. Drop this. I'll pick it up to sell later. Gotta hold on to that Ironwood branch. That's no joke. Okay, new item received. The Horn of Cenarius. Imbues its owner with 200 hit points and a 2 hit point per second regen. This ancient relic has the power to call upon the spirits of all night elves. Although owned by Cenarius, the horn is free to be used by those he deems worthy to command the power of nature. What cool. These you know, for such an ancient legendary thing, 200 HP is not really that great. Senses. But I understand. I understand why it is the way <laughs> the way it is. How may I serve the goddess? Man, these th these sentries are just straight up better than these fur balls. These furbogs need to train. You're a, you're a giant anthropomorphic bear. 
I see a cave. We're gonna get ambushed. Oh, yes. Big J calling it. You can heal yourself soon. You're fine. It's about half HP, right? Yeah. So we pop that. Boom. Back up. Did I always have three? I thought I only had two. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not important. Yes, we have three. Pop that. Scroll of healing. It shall be done. I'll pick it up. That's fine. As sleep told my senses. Oh, I didn't get a second one. It's because I dropped it because the Horn of Scenarius replaced whatever was in that first slot. Got to level up our pouch. All right, we found our second... No, no, this is the river crossing. So the second village should be right on the other side here. Let us pass. The Archdruid of the Moonglade demands passage. Really good use of space on this map. Like, the whole map is used to an extent, and I assume cutscenes are probably done uh, on the little areas that are not visible. Wait. Did I leave something down here? Was there a hut? I can't get down there even if... Doesn't it look like there's a hut on the mini-map? Oh, dear. Level 6 Thunder Lizards. Well, we're leading with the wrong units here. Just just get in there. Do this. Oh no, that's the right unit. I thought that was a I thought that was a I almost called them sentinels. I thought that was an archer for a brief moment. Alright, you're fine. Heal up again. Rune of Rester. That that might have been a little a little too much. What's down here? Either a trap or something. It looks like something should be here, right? Check down here. It's possible that this is where the hard mode legendary item normally is. I'm just... I'm just curious. That's a cool looking spell. I like that quite a bit. That looks really good. Ah, oh, we hit the stag with it. Oh no. It has a chance to miss its attacks. Um, there's definitely a secret back here. And you know what? That probably activates whatever it is we're looking for. So we break the trees. Enchanted gemstone obelisk. I guess break it. Let's quick save because I don't know if we should be breaking it or what. Mm, probably activated something down here, or is there something on the ground? I don't see anything on the ground. Provides additional mana. That's good. Uh, what do we not need right now? Probably the mana stone, so we'll drop that, pick it up. Increases the mana capacity of the hero by 100 when worn. Yeah, so this is a legendary item. The, the stats would be better if this was on hard mode, basically. It, it gives you a 25% bonus... Uh, to mana regen, and then you get an extra 100 mana on top of the, the base 100. But that's that's good to have right now. And there's a neat little secret there that we got to do. All right, we've got found the second village. Things aren't looking too hot. Who are those people? They look somehow familiar to us. Why, they appear to be the Highborn, but that's impossible. I banished the Highborn from the lands eons ago. Their exile was forever. What could they be doing here? How were they able to survive? The Highborn possess great power, Furion. They could prove to be useful if you find a way to exert power over them. It's Shando. Get him, you fools. The Master will not be pleased to learn of Malfurion's awakening. I don't know what these people do. Murder them. All right, he's a priest, but he does not... Oh, okay. Oh! Well, either these individuals have mana shield, or this guy casts mana shield. I don't think that's the case. Get in there! These... They don't have giant bears on their side. That's our advantage. Get them! This guy does not appear to be casting anything. I'll take it. There's definitely stuff up there. 
as sleep dulled my senses. Or maybe up there. I saw something through the trees. We may be able to get through there later. Let's just check over here very quickly. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! My watchers are ready. As sleep dulled my senses. Pretty good use of items so far as well. Like, there's a, a plethora of items. It makes a re it's rewarding to explore. Actually, look around and find stuff, which is cool. You know, we got like that gem, gem of mana, something like that, is really, really nice. How dare you! How dare you! Moonwell, wand of neutralization. Get down here, save him. I can pick that up later. What do I not really need here? I mean, most of this stuff I don't really need. Okay, keep these ladies alive. Battle Maiden. There we go. Shadow Storm Rage, thank a loon. The Highborn have captured my sisters and are holding them captive down south. Uh, drop. Drop. Do not worry, Sentinel. We will find them. Scroll of healing. Boom. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. I didn't grab the Wand of Neutralization. That's probably a pretty good item, but I don't need it. It's just a, it's a limited use magical dispel. Actually, that would be pretty good against the Highborn, it seems. Rescue the Night Haven survivors. You know you boys got to go save these prisoners. Get in there. Give me some trees. Go save them. Here's my only concern. So, there's nothing hidden in huts, but there's stuff hidden behind trees, and we have an ability to break trees. In fact, the night elves can break a bunch of trees with a bunch of different abilities. So, uh, we'll see how many things behind trees we will be finding in this campaign. I do have a bit of a concern that that's going to be... There's going to be a lot. Alright, we're coming, ladies. Yeah, yeah, hit the, hit the trees. That's good stuff. Uh, let's use this. Okay. Wow, you're, she's not gonna be able to heal herself. Oh, it's not burning mana. Maybe, maybe it's like a thing they have to research or something. I don't know. Hello. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, look out. They know where the we the weakness is, and it's these it's these ladies here. Do this. Pick this up. I can hear our comrades from the other side, yet my powers cannot open the door. If only I could reach the generator from here. Okay, so we do this. Hit the generator. It's a ni nice little puzzle, if you would consider that a puzzle. Are we capped at level? Yes, we're capped at level three. Crates. Got him. Scroll of healing here. Bring a superiority. This ruby gem is probably we could probably ditch, and I can pick up another health uh, scroll, or we just don't. And the gate can. Yeah, we we know. Now, I know game. I know Dora. Uh, okay, so let's pick this up with our backpack at least. We can again. I maybe get to a point where we can sell this stuff. So that's why I'm holding on to it. Moonlight shines upon the guilty, etc., etc. Uh, okay. My watchers so ready. now, we haven't lost any units at this point, so I feel pretty confident to basically just wander through the rest of the map. I think we've done it. I left someone behind. I was I was going to say she's kind of a coward, but that was my own fault. Are we attacking uphill here, technically? It's fine. Our, uh, our sentinels will be fine. Furbolg, no, you made it this far! He made it this far. He can't die. He, I mean, he can die, but like I'd prefer if he didn't. Not after all of this. Save him. Threatens these My watchers are ready. Uh, over here. Certainly. The land and I are one. So at that point, our uh, our reward was simply more units. Okay, look out. The land and I are Heal yourself. Heal this screw. Oh no. Oh, clutch! Shockwave heal! And there's a rune of healing right there. So once we kill this group, we good. Okay, pick this up. 
trying, oh, trying hard. Good. There we go. Oh, she didn't get hit. Of the goddess. Check down here. Pretty much all full up anyway. Ironwood Branch, we gotta hold on to. When we sell that, we're gonna get 6,000 gold. That's how it works. Pretty large group there. Do I have any mana related? I could just use the mana pot. Or the mana stone, rather. So let's drop this. Drop this. Pick it up. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Drop it. Switch to, Ma to Malfurion. Pick it up. Use it. Pick this up. Definitely looks like the end. So we use this. We attack. We debuff all of them. We get in there. We get some trees. You heal yourself. It's working. It's working. All of our consumables. They have made us gods. These poor sentinels. They really like... These things really like focusing down my sentinels. That's okay. It's because they know that they have the lowest HP. Uh, there's something up there. There could be something down here, too. One of these is a dead end. And one of them is the end of the mission. And I don't know which. Let's just go look. It shall be done. Oh, it's a generator to the door. I see. Hello? As you wish. Alright, just get him in there. Heal yourself. Nope. Heal yourself. That is an excellent ability. Damn. Okay, get in there. There may be one more encounter behind the door, I don't know. Alright, boss this down. I can only imagine this opens the door. There we go. I left someone behind also. I haven't lost anybody. That's how Jay plays micro missions, though. Probably took way too long because I was like, don't lose a single, a single person. I could go pick up the wand of neutralization. It's is it too far? It's I, I think it's too far. We don't need to do it. Are there more enemies in here? It's a base, isn't it? It's Illidan. Okay. Impossible. Hello, brother. You look shocked to see me. I sealed you beneath the cold depths of the earth, Illidan. Your imprisonment was for all eternity. How did you escape? Escaped? Why, I longed to be released from that dreaded cell ever since you sealed me there in the first place. For 10,000 long years, I languished in hell. I experienced nothing but misery and boredom while imprisoned. As if being watched by Maiev wasn't bad enough, my growing desire for magic became almost unbearable. Some time ago, something unusual happened. Maiev, along with many of her watchers, abandoned their posts. Seizing the opportunity, I broke free from my cell. With all my force, I crushed the remaining jailers and made a run for the surface. And what of the Highborn? Are they simply a pawn for your selfish deeds? Believe me, brother, the Highborn I command are not the ones who led us to war with the Legion. They are a new breed of magic wielders created using the energies found in the nearby fountain. Good grief. Don't tell me you've been consuming the waters from the defiled fountain. You don't understand. The power it grants will allow us to defeat the demons and save this world from darkness. Madness. Don't you realize that such a powerful magic was bestowed by the Legion itself? And what makes you say that? I have seen demonic magics before, but this... This is different. The water's energies are unlike anything I have ever consumed before. But I saw satyrs trying to corrupt the fountain's Illidan. 
How can you say that they are not hand in hand with the Legion? The satyrs are nothing more than simple weaklings who linger to whatever magics they can. Besides, it is not of the Legion's nature to offer immense power at no consequence. But this doesn't make any sense. You have always been naive, brother. You know the prophecy is the Legion's coming is inevitable. If we are to live, we must take whatever power we can get and use them to defeat the demons once and for all. I'm sorry, brother, but I cannot allow you to deny me of my new mission. The demons are coming, and it is either us or them who will survive. You are no brother of mine. I think I made that clear when I put you in jail forever. Nice. Great first mission. A lot of good... A lot of good points hit. Very interesting. I'm excited to continue this. Uh, Maiev abandoned her posts, if you remember, way back in Rowan the Wise, which did start as a satire campaign, you may recall. Uh, I guess now we're taking it fairly seriously. Uh, Maiev invaded Lordaeron for some reason in the goofy Uther is a Chicken mission, if you you may remember. Was that the same mission? I don't know, but it was around then. But Maiev just invaded Lordaeron for I don't know what reason. I don't remember if there was a reason. There may not have been one, but that's why she abandoned her post. There, therefore, Illidan broke out. Cool. Looking forward to continuing this. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.